Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 15 of my favorite 31 vocalists of all time. We're doing it all month long here in August. 31 days in a month, our 31 favorite singers across all genres. Today, we got a guy who's still with us because we've, we've had a lot that, that are no longer, sadly. It's kind of the way it goes in uh, rock and roll, right? But uh, today we got a real good one here. This is uh, this is a guy who's been a favorite of mine for, geez, last probably 25 years. I'm trying to think of like the first time I heard the band that he's in. And uh, they really rock my world and change my life. And they've become one of my favorite uh, bands who have kind of come out since the 90s. So let me bring to the stage, <clears throat> excuse me, pick number 15. From Symphony X, Mr. Russell Allen, that's right, the guy from New Jersey. Man, what a singer. <clears throat> what a powerhouse singer. Not only does he front <clears throat> the great uh, power slash progressive metal band, <clears throat> Symphony X, excuse me, still still recovering from COVID here, so trying to do the best I can. Got a lot of shows for you guys today, so uh, hopefully my voice holds out. But uh, anyway, not only fronting the great band Symphony X, but he also performs with uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. And uh, he fronted uh, the kind of short-lived but pretty cool Adrenaline Mob. And he's done albums with Jorn Landy, another great guy. Doesn't quite make my list, but he's he's up there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, he's just popped up all over the place. He's, he's done some stuff with uh, Arjun Lukasen. And uh, yeah, he's an amazing, amazing singer who uh, just... He's got a uh, gorgeous side to his vocals, but man, is he powerful. He can do that kind of Ronnie James Dio type roar as well as the bluesy kind of Coverdale thing. He's uh, multifaceted, so good, and uh, definitely one of my favorites. He's making my top 15. That speaks volumes, right? So let's take a look at the three favorite albums, shall we, that I believe have perhaps his best vocals. Uh, I got to go back to the first one I ever heard, which is The Divine Wings of Tragedy all the way back from 1997. So and I got this fairly soon after it came out. Maybe I got it in 98. So yeah, so I've been enjoying this guy for, geez, 20, 26 years, right? It's, it's a long time. Uh, this is, you know, this is the album, the third album, where it really all clicked. And, uh, you know, Of Sins and Shadows, Sea of Lies, Out of the Ashes, the uh, wonderful, the accolade where he really shows his melodic side. You have the Crushing Pharaoh, the Eyes of Medusa, Witching Hour, and then, of course, the big, long, epic title track, The Divine Wings of Tragedy, where he shows uh, an aggressive side in this song in a couple of passages, especially uh, about the midway point in the song. And we would hear lots of that going forward, that just that that. Russell Allen roar, right? Um, so yeah, he, I mean, he could do kind of it all, but yeah, very, very important album in the development of this guy uh, on the vocals. And I would say my pick number two is going to be the follow-up Twilight and Olympus. Another crushing album, but again, he's got some stuff on here that really shows his melodic side, right? You got Smoke and Mirrors, Church of the Machines is great. Uh, Through the Looking Glass is the big epic on here, and that's just absolutely tremendous. A, it's just a great melodic song for the band. It's very proggy. Uh, really shows Michael Romeo's great guitar playing and, and arranging skills and songwriting skills. But man, just uh, Russ just sounds so good. Lady of the, of the Snow, amazing. Orion the Hunter, great. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead a number of years, and which is probably my favorite Symphony X album. And I'm going to go to the Paradise Lost album. You talk about the Russell Allen roar. He's roaring up a storm on this one. This is just a powerful, powerful metal album uh, that just... Uh, Man, set the world on fire. I mean, he's just like, you know, the Serpent's Kiss. Oh, I absolutely love Serpent's Kiss. So crushing. Domination, the uh, title track, Walls of Babylon. Just oh, so many great songs on here. Just got an absolutely crushing album. Complex, intricate, powerful, heavy. Everything rolled into one. But my favorite uh, vocal performance from him uh, I almost picked one of the songs that I, a couple of songs that I just mentioned. You know, there's so many great ones for Russell Allen. This is very difficult for me to pick one. Uh, but I'm going to go with one <clears throat> that I think just really allows him to showcase everything that he can do uh, within the confines of a 24 minute song, right? Of course, you've got to pick an epic, right? And uh, I, I think really, when I really thought about it, I remember the couple of times I've seen the band live where they perform this song in its entirety. 
And I just remember like walking away, being absolutely blown away. So I had to go with the title track to the Odyssey, the epic 24, nine minute long Odyssey title track broken down into uh, seven parts. It's just absolutely incredible. And again, Russ just does it all in there. You know, he's got those soaring highs and the the mid, you know, growly roar and just, just everything that makes Russell Allen such a great singer is all contained in the Odyssey. It's a great song, too. It's just it's so well constructed. And that whole the last part of it is just like, oh, just, you know, every time you go see it live, you're just sitting there, you know, because they take the man takes you on a journey throughout this whole long epic track and uh, seeing Russ up there performing it live. Just uh, so great. Just so great. So, yeah, that's my pick title track to the Odyssey. And uh, my three favorite albums from a vocal perspective are these three right here. Divine Wings of Tragedy. Of course, the great Twilight Olympus and Paradise Lost. So, uh, yeah, if you're not hip to Russell Allen and you're a metal fan, you are really missing out. This guy is the real deal. So good. He's one of the greats. And uh, that's my pick for today. Pick number 15. Let us know what you think of Russell Allen down in the comments below as well as your pick for today. Pick number 15. And we'll see you tomorrow for number 14. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we get the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And uh, we'll see you soon here more stuff we got we got a busy weekend here i hope i uh, hope i can get through all of it so we've got uh, saturday morning at the fun house coming up in just a little while here with martin pop off martin was very gracious to be able to uh, <clears throat> hold off a day so uh, i could feel a little bit better to be able to talk for an hour straight so we got that coming up we've got to also coming up tonight we've got uh, the next episode of the what is it series brendan snyder scott laid and Grant Arthur and myself will be talking about the great Steely Dan. What the hell is this thing called Steely Dan anyway? We'll be sitting there trying to figure out just what Steely Dan is all about. We'll talk about some of the great albums and just uh, how you kind of break down their music and what is it, right? What is it to us, to each one of us individually? So that's coming up uh, later today. And then uh, we've also got tonight... The review crew. We got a power packed evening on primetime tonight here on Saturday. So we got the review crew, Jamie Laszlo and company. He's got another superstar with him tonight. Kurt Vanderhoof from Metal Church is joining Jamie and company on the next episode of the review crew. See what Kurt's got to review as long as the as well as the rest of the crew tonight on the review crew new album reviews every other week here on Sea Tranquility on Saturday nights and. Uh, then, of course, tomorrow is Ranking the Albums. Grant Arthur and I will be taking a look at the very short but still really, really cool catalog of, a, of an excellent Canadian band called The Hunt. Many of you have asked for it. We've got it. That's coming up tomorrow. And then, of course, we kick off the work week with uh, the Hudson Valley Squares on Monday. We will be revisiting the ninth, early 1970s once again, picking our favorite albums from 1972. That's coming up on Monday. So uh, until then. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And uh, we'll see you soon here with more stuff. Everybody, I'm P. Pardo. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.